But Enzo Fernandez and Liverpool are very close to personal agreement. The expectation is that Liverpool would be willing to pay his release clause. Argentinian sources are reporting on this because River Plate has a 25% sell-on clause. I would be very pleasantly surprised, Chaza, if we go and trigger it this video is being sponsored by our friends at surfshark now you've probably heard people talking about vpn providers a lot and i'm going to explain to you why it's a plus and why hopefully you should go with our friends at surfshark so surfshark is an app or browser extension that allows you to look at the internet entirely anonymously and unlock the world's largest netflix libraries likes of the usa and japan it also keeps you safe and secure from hackers let's imagine you're out and about you're having a cup of coffee you're you're in college you're in the pub something like that they use industry leading measures uncrackable encryption and the most secure vpn protocols to keep you safe and secure while you're having a look on the internet also one subscription will run across all of your devices meaning that there is no need to look elsewhere one subscription you got your phone covered your laptop covered whatever it is that you need surfshark is really easy to install as well and right now you can get an amazing 85% off and three months additional free by using our link in the description and the code Anfield Agenda at checkout. That is 85% off and three months additional free, meaning it works out at less than $2 a month. Now this offer runs until the end of this year only. So if you're looking for a VPN provider, look no further. A friend at Surfshark have got you covered. I've seen stories to suggest that Liverpool have a pre-agreement in place with Benfica over the signing of Enzo Fernandez. We don't believe that to be the case. The interest is 100% genuine. The interest goes back a while. I mean, I think the first person I remember speaking about a, a concrete interest from Liverpool Football Club was Melissa Reddy. None of the people who I would normally bounce this stuff off have any confirmation that there is a pre-contract or an agreement in place for this transfer. It is very much still an ongoing process that Liverpool aren't the only club interested. Now, I'm not trying to say it can't be done. I'm not trying to say it won't be done. I'm just saying to you guys that from everything that I understand around this, there's no agreement as of yet. Doesn't mean, as I said, it won't happen. Doesn't mean it can't happen. I just think those reports are a little bit premature and I don't want to be getting people's hopes up for something that isn't as concrete as some are making it out to be. I'll let you do your own research on it and stuff like that. But from our side, you know, we always try and be bluntly honest with you. I don't believe that there is a, a pre-agreement in place for Enzo Fernandez to join Liverpool Football Club. I don't know after that. After that, I've nothing else to add to it. I don't know. Um, I, I don't even know how serious the interest is. Like, I know we're interested, but I don't know if we're that far along in it. And I know a lot of these reports are coming out of Spain and Argentina and stuff like that. Uh, some of these sources, by the way, are shocking. Some of them are good. Uh, I just, again, I don't think that there is a pre-agreement in place, but we are interested. I can absolutely stand over that. And anyone who said that Liverpool are interested in them, that's true. 100%, as I said, go right back to Melissa Reddy, who, you know, it's the first person I read speaking about this interest but i'm not saying she was the first to report it do you believe that liverpool are going to be or have an agreement in place for enzo fernandez you know remember now his bio clause is about 120 million euro and they bought him i think for about 10 so that would be an incredible markup in as of now five months maybe six months he's been there let's talk about why these deals could happen financially if this is true and i'm hoping there's a, somebody in our community that can you know at least understand some of the language involved in this and tell me if it, if it looks like it's based in fact to you so the gentleman's account is called rex and it's at the that rex guy by the way fsg could absolutely buy bellingham and enzo and then incorporate the cost in the sale and the new owners could write off the expenses with tax benefits. It's a tax law regarding the degradation of assets, i.e. players, facilities, equipment. The new owners can report the expenses as losses for tax purposes, and then they won't have to pay tax on any Liverpool profits. They can use that tax write-off to offset their other income. So basically, FSG stadium expansions and transfers will be a wash for the new owners. There you go. That's... As I said, I'm not an accountant. 
I'm taking this person at their word because they certainly view some words there that uh, makes it sound like they know what they're talking about. So if that's true, happy fucking days. Absolutely brilliant. I'll take that. So Rex, my man, I don't know you, but I hope you're right. And I appreciate uh, the post because it's uh, it's tickled the old nuts a little bit, folks. I won't lie. Uh, Sean said, Enzo Fernandez will be a brilliant signing for you lot. Sean's a United fan, by the way. If you can get him, I'm surprised that you lot, he goes there with the you lot again, uh, seem to be the only ones pushing for him. I don't think we are, Sean. I don't think we are the only ones. Um, I know Madrid have distanced themselves uh, to some degree in the media, but I think that interest is genuine. I wouldn't be surprised if Pep Guardiola and um, Manchester City have a look at them as well and maybe make a play there. Uh, Guardiola's signed that two-year deal, by the way. You know, the one that was announced a few weeks back that he would sign. Uh, so he's he's agreed that two-year deal to keep him at Manchester City until 2025. And I know a lot of you will be upset by that because Guardiola is an outstanding manager and his domination of the uh, domestic trophies have been pretty good. But I'm a bit of a sadist. I want him to be there when the shit show comes falling down. I want Guardiola to be there when the authorities come and knock it. I want Guardiola to be there when this financial investigation that the Premier League have been spending four years on finally comes to a head. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a shit house. So the publications who were speaking about Enzo Fernandez have ranged from like an Argentinian newspaper called La Capital. Uh, the guys at LFC Transfer Room had tweeted, Argentina-based newspaper La Capital is the oldest newspaper still active in the country. One of the most prestigious publications there. As far as their source goes, uh, it's hard to tell the reliability of it because the writer journalist of the story is not mentioned in the article. Excuse me. Um, and then there was Varsky Sports, who was also being mentioned as to having ran a story around uh, Liverpool and Enzo Fernandez. But to the best of my knowledge, the story that said the pre-contract agreement, I'm trying to scroll back through here, bear with me. I think that came from Dario AS, if I'm not mistaken, which are a Spanish publication. And the uh, person who is credited with that story, has a uh, full 18 followers on Twitter. So that's why I'm saying when I started this stream, I told you guys that from the journalists that I've spoke to, nobody is aware of this pre-agreement being in place. There's interest and that I can stand over, but I just don't want people to, to believe that it's just imminent or it's about to happen or because I don't think it's the case. Doesn't mean it won't. Doesn't mean it can't. The interest is 100% genuine. Imagine Thiago, Bellingham and Enzo. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't say no. Is there any update on Jude from your side? Only that I reached out today as in a, you know my way of trying to make up for not being around yesterday i did reach out to the person today just to see if the talk about the family um, and particularly his father mark is is true if the you know that that's where they feel his direction if that's still the case if nothing has changed or and from what he believes and what i believe yes it's liverpool are the favorite destination um, they want to and will be entirely respectful of Borussia Dortmund, who are a fantastic club and have treated the Bellingham family and Jude extremely well. So, yeah, you know, it's all looking gravy as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, let's wait and see. Right, so Mark has put in something from Mo Chathra. Now, I mentioned earlier on about me not knowing much about the Rex guy, but I can tell you, Mo Chathra is shit hot with football finance stuff. He is, he's somebody you should be following. He's brilliant. I think he's still, I think, I think he's still involved with Anfield Index, but he's brilliant, 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 Mo. Um, so at Mo, M-O, Chathra, C-H-A-T-R-A, if you want to give him a follow on social media, and I definitely would urge you to because he's brilliant. So he said, if Liverpool were to sign Jude Bellingham, 
and Enzo Fernandez at a combined cost of 200 million or more, financing the deals would be feasible. Signing both would not require the full amounts to be paid at once to Dortmund and Benfica, respectively. If Mo says it's feasible, it's feasible because that gentleman knows finance. And uh, as much as I want and got excited and still am by the Rex stuff, I'm new to Rex's account, but Mo is, is really good. So that's that's a good sign. Uh, Chaza, who's put in some good posts over the last few weeks, said Enzo Fernandez and Liverpool are very close to personal agreement. The expectation is that Liverpool would be willing to pay his release clause. Argentinian sources are reporting on this because River Plate has a 25% sell-on clause. I would be very pleasantly surprised, Chaza, if we go and trigger it. Um, because, as I explained earlier on, normally you have to go and deposit the full amount. So maybe they would agree to Liverpool triggering the release clause, but structuring it in a different way. Now, Liverpool have a good relationship with Benfica. Um, and I think, I might be mistaken, I'm working off memory. I think Enzo Fernandez is repped by George Mendes, who runs the guest a few agency. We signed Fabinho, we signed Jota uh, through that agency, so agency we've worked with uh, previously. 